Let's begin lying down. Release all the way down onto your mat. Let your eyes, eyes become softer. Feel free to close your eyes if you feel like you're in a space where it's not too vulnerable and you feel safe and you feel held and you feel secure. And then just take a little bit of time recognizing the way that your body feels. Knowing that these sensations are temporary. Whether it's something that you would try, um, ascribe goodness to or not, whether it's uncomfortable or feels really great. Know that all this is transitory. And see this moment for being now. Start to deepen your breath. Noticing larger inhales and fuller exhales. And if you did notice any spots in your body that feel particularly tense or tight or cold, send your breath to those spaces as though you could just have a little channel going down to the physical part of your body. And maybe even give that little part of your body a shake or a slight massage. And see if you can allow that tension or that tightness or whatever, ha what have you, drift away. And I invite you to set a dedication or intention for your practice. If your mind doesn't seem to be drawn in any particular direction and this feels stressful at all, you don't need to give it that kind of weight. You can simply allow this practice to be now, recognizing the transitory nature of this practice, recognizing your physicality throughout. And we'll take a few breaths together, solidifying these dedications and intentions as a community. Take a very deep breath in. Maybe you feel your back press more into the mat, your rib cage reaching outward. Hold at the top for a moment and then exhale, release. Come all the way down to the valley of that breath and take another deep breath in. Letting the rest of your body become a little softer as you do so. Shoulders release back, exhale when you're ready. And then another time for yourself. Start to rock your head from side to side. So you start to drop your left ear down toward the mat. Can you stretch through your neck, really reach it downward and then send your chin back up toward the ceiling and then rock over to the other side. So your right ear is pressing down toward the mat. You might feel a stretch even through your shoulder here. And then continue this gentle movement from side to side. Also massage through the back of your skull. Bring your legs a little bit closer in front of you so that they are aligned in parallel. Reach your arms up above your head. Give yourself a good morning stretch. Point your toes, flex your toes, move through your wrists, flex your wrists, point your fingers towards the ceiling, and also press your shoulder blades down to the mat. Then bring your arms alongside your body, palms down. Flex your right toes towards your shin, point your left toes outward, and then switch it up. Point your right toes, flex your left toes towards your shin. Opposite again, right toes in, left toes out. Right toes up, left toes in. And then bring both toes towards your shin, press your low belly in, so your low back is pressing against the mat. You'll feel your legs engage. Relax through your arms, relax through your shoulders. And then point through your toes, still keep your low belly drawn in, so you're still pressing against the mat. You might feel some tension across your quadriceps. And then simply release the tension of both of your legs. Pull both knees in towards your chest, Hands to your shins or the backs of your thighs. Drop a little bit from left to right. Maybe starting to press, pull your shins down towards you, giving a little bit more attention to your hip flexors. Simply notice the sensation. Notice the difference from side to side if there is one. And then bring your knees up 
so that your knees are over your hips, drop your heels down so that they're about line with your knees. So you've got generally a 90 degree angle. Take your arms out to the side for support. You can bend at your elbows if you'd like or keep your arms out at a T. We're gonna do just a little bit of core warming up. So drop both knees over to the right. They might tap down all the way, they might not. I'm not sure if the microphone just picked up all of the snap crackle pops in my back. On an exhale, take your knees back up. Try to keep that 90 degree angle and then drop it over to the other side. Try to keep your right shoulder generally down. Your knees might not tuck down, that's okay. Oh, I see a dog. Come back up toward the center. Drop over to the right. Up toward center again. Nice and slow. Over to the other side. Then bring it back to the center. Keep your right knee in, extend your left leg out. Let that leg go soft. We're gonna take some gentle supine twists here. So similar this time, you take your right knee over to the left, but just your left leg is extended. Right shoulder is reaching toward the mat. And if you'd like to take your eye gaze into this, because we're not moving, it's a little more stable. Send your gaze over toward your right hand. And you can take your left hand to your right thigh and gently press down. As we were talking about before the class began, we are going to be working in some, into some twists. So just be mindful here. And then when you're ready on an exhale, take your head and your knee back up to center, switch it out, right leg goes out, left knee comes in, and then draw the knee across your body toward the right, perhaps taking that twist further by looking out toward your left hand. Head and knee back to center once again. Take your hands to the backs of your thighs, rock up and down the length of your spine, and then we're going to come to a boat pose. So you might first land with your feet down, or you might just see if you can balance right here. Perfect. Okay, we're going to take some Ardha Navasana. So again, it's your choice whether you'd like to keep your hands here, or even tap your feet down, or bring your arms out alongside your body. On an inhale, you're going to straighten your legs, start to lower them until they hover, lean back, keep your back covered, exhale, pull your knees to your chest. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, draw in. Try to keep your uh, heels in line with your knees again. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold in. One more time like that. And then pull in. We're gonna take the, uh, the side curl version of this boat pose. So interlace fingers, release index finger. Come to the Ardha Navasana, lean back. On an exhale, pull both knees to the left, arms to the right. See if you can connect your elbow to your knee. Inhaling back. Exhale, draw in, knees to right, arms to the left. Inhaling back. Exhale, arms to right, inhaling back, arms to left, inhaling back, and then come all the way up to your regular Navasana pose. Take your toes together, feet apart, drop your feet. Lean all the way forward, and we're simply just going to rest here in this Baddha Konasana option. So allow your back to round. Don't have to keep up. Let your head drop if that feels uncomfortable for your head. Then place your hands to your head so you've got some support. See if you can take out a little bit more of your uh, intention to keep your head up. And just release forward. Breathe into those spaces where you're feeling sensation. And then slowly start to walk your hands in. Keep your head heavy. Eventually you'll roll your way up to seated. So you're in more of a Baddha Konasana. You can keep your legs as they are, or if you'd like to make this a little bit more intense, send your fingertips behind you, bump up your hips, and then scooch your hips a little bit closer. We are at the top of this class, so maybe you're not going as far as you might in a later part of the class. Take your hands to your feet or your ankles or your shins, depending on where you are. Inhale, lift up, shoulder blades back, and then exhale, you're going to hinge forward. So a more traditional version of this, more active, you're going to tilt your pelvis. So as you hinge forward, you might find that your legs go back just a bit. Okay, let's come out of this pose, lean up. Release the grip you've got. If you took that wider, I'm sorry, tighter angle, tips, fingertips behind you, scooch it back. And then we're going to come to a Sukhasana pose. So simply place one ankle in front of the other unless that's not comfortable, in which case just do crisscross applesauce. On an inhale, reach your arms out and up, palms press above you, send your chin upward, and on exhale, 
Take your thumbs to the center of your chest. Let your eye gaze follow your thumbs. You've got a deep stretch at the back of your neck. Inhale, reach out and up. Shoulder blades are down as you gaze up. Exhale, hands are at center. Find a little resistance to your palms as you do that one final time like that. Reach out and up. Press through the air like it is very, very thick and viscous. Exhale, take your thumbs to your heart center. Send your gaze down. We're gonna work through a couple side twists here, accentuating those twists, inhale. Reach out enough, exhale, twist to your left right hand, to your left thigh, left fingertips behind you. Inhale, lift taller, exhale, twist more deeply, shift the weight to the right hip, send your chin like it's gonna go beyond your left shoulder. Next inhale, come back to center, arms lift, create space. Exhale, use all that space, twisting your belly first, hand to your right thigh, fingertips behind you, use the resistance to assist you in the twist. Equal weight between both hips. Chin like it could move beyond your right shoulder. And then inhale back to center, arms lift. Unraveling, on an exhale, take your hands to your heart center. And roll over onto your hands and knees for a tabletop position. Bharmanasana, move through your fingers and through your wrists, your ankles, your toes, all that stuff. And then just shift a little bit from side to side. And we're gonna take some cow and cat here. We're also gonna move through some C curves in a moment. So on an inhale, drop your belly, lift up your hips and your heart, drop your inner elbows forward, gaze up. Exhale, press through hands and knees, press through either the tops of your toes or your toes if they're curled in. Arch your spine, pull your chin into your chest. Inhale, swim your heart forward. Look up. Exhale, press to your cat pose, really, really accentuate this. Make this super, super strong. One more time. Inhale, reach your heart forward, collar blades are, uh, collar bones are wide. Exhale, press up to cat pose. And then come down to neutral spine. So we're gonna take some C curves. So it's gonna be like cow and cat, except you're moving from side to side. So start to bring your right shoulder towards your right hip. Inhale, drop your belly like you're taking a cat pose and then you're gonna rotate all the way around until you've got your left shoulder reaching for your left hip. Exhale, arch your spine as you come to that cat pose, and then you swing it around again. So you're kind of making this like oval shape. So right shoulder to right hip, drop your belly, lift up as you start to take that full mobility, reach all the way around. Left shoulder is reaching toward left hip. Exhale, come back to that cat pose one more time. Inhale, right shoulder and right hip, reach toward each other, drop the belly, rotate it all the way around. Use your chin as well to guide you. Left shoulder, left hip. Come back to cat pose, we're gonna take it the other way. So left hip to left shoulder as you inhale, start to drop your belly, wind it all the way around, right hip to right shoulder. Exhale, come through your cat pose. Two more times in this direction. After you finish that final revolution and you are in that cat pose, Come back to neutral spine. We're gonna take a dynamic cat flow, getting a little bit more uh, movement through our spine. So send your hips back towards your heels. Your shins are about parallel, your arms out in front of you. Inhale, rise to your knees, palms lift up. Drop your tailbone, maybe lean back, maybe your palms press. Exhale, come all the way down to that modified child's pose, arms out in front of you. Forehead is down toward the mat. Inhale, slither your heart forward to a cat pose, cow pose. Exhale, press up to cat. And then shift your hips back to your heels. Inhale, rise to your knees, palms lift up. Deep stretch. Engage your core as you do so to protect your low back. Exhale, lower all the way down. Modify child's. Inhale, heart comes forward for your cow pose. Exhale, press up through cat. Really engage your core here. Shift your hips back to your heels. One more time like that. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow, soften. Inhale, keep your heart open as you reach forward for your cow pose. Exhale, press up for your cat. Tuck your toes, shift your hips back, feel a deep stretch through the soles of your feet and maybe the tops of your feet. And as you're ready, unfold. Downward facing dog, first one of this class. Give yourself some movement. As we were taking those C curves earlier, maybe start to move your hips from side to side and moving your shoulders toward them. As long as you feel stable, starting to feel a little bit of a similar sensation perhaps. Very different orientation. Fingertips spread wide. Make sure that you're giving yourself a very firm base of support. And then bend your knees deeply. Walk your hands to the back of your mat. So you're to forward fold, back of mat. And first take 
a ragdoll pose. So feet are spread apart, prop your head. You can take elbows and hands, sway low from side to side. Check out what's going in your head. Maybe you need to shrug your shoulders a little bit. Maybe the microphone picked up my jaw popping. <laughs> And then if you've taken any kind of bind, release your fingertips down. We're gonna take three halfway lifts. Breath in, halfway lift, reach your heart forward. Exhale, chest to thighs. Again, inhale, come up halfway, fingertips press against your shins or the mat, press your feet down and away from you. Exhale, forward fold. One more time like that, inhale, halfway lift, bent knees are absolutely fine. Exhale, fold. Keep your knees bent here, and we're gonna take a little bit of a twist. So take your left hand to the mat directly below your face. Inhale, reach your right fingertips up toward the ceiling. If you'd like, you can start to send your gaze upward toward your right thumb. Also an option to begin to straighten your right leg. If this is not accessible to you, don't worry. Also, your left hand could be on a prop or up on uh, spider fingers. You might just need to bend your knees further. On an exhale, take your right hand down, place it directly below your face, left fingertips come up. Maybe send your gaze up. Maybe start to straighten the left leg. No matter what you've got going on your legs, see if you can keep a straight spine so you're really reaching the crown of your head away from your hips. Exhale, take it everything right back down. And then walk your way back to that downward facing dog, crawl your way forward. See if you can get where your down dog is, and then we're gonna test it out. Inhale, rise to your toes, come to the top of a plank pose. Make any adjustments that you need. And then on an exhale, take your chin to your chest, pop up your back, lift it up and back, roll back to your downward facing dog. We're gonna do that two more times just for fun. Inhale, rise to your toes, roll to the top of a plank pose. Exhale, chin to chest, puff it up, roll all the way back. And then one more time. Inhale, lift up. Create lots of space for your shoulders as you come forward. And exhale again, create that space, puff up. Reach it all the way back. Bend your knees, look towards the top of your mat, and then make your way to the top of your mat. You can hop, you can step, you can heel toe your way up. This might give you an additional stretch through the outsides of your legs. Forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, reach your heart forward. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, reach your eyes, reach your arms out and up. Look up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. And then arms alongside your body for your Tadasana posture, your mountain pose. Start with the base of your body, the soles of your feet pressing into the mat. Lift up through your arches, lift up through your kneecaps. Find engagement through your core, knitting your ribs in. Heart open. Shoulders down. On an inhale, reach your arms up toward the ceiling. Your shoulders remain down, gaze up. Exhale, hinge at your hips. Swan dive or hands to your heart center, all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, offer your heart forward. Exhale, fold. Step back to the top of a plank pose. And then knees up or knees down. Lower all the way to the mat, elbows grazing in towards your rib cage. Untuck your toes, take your hands out wide. You're gonna take backwards breath, cobra so. On two fingertips, elbows pointing straight up, forehead to the mat. Make sure the tops of your feet are pressed down. Draw your low belly in, inhale, prepare, exhale, press the tops of feet and hands, roll up, your head is heavy. Inhale, unravel, gaze up. Exhale, wave it all the way back down. Remember not to clench too much in your bum. Inhale, hold here, low belly in, prepare. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, full expression. Exhale, wave it down. Inhale, find your foundation. Exhale, begin to move. Inhale, full expression. Exhale, wave it all the way back down. Bring your hands in closer to your body once again. You're going to press back to a child's pose. So come up through hands and knees, toes together, knees a little bit wider here. Shift your hips back. Active child's pose here. Reach your arms out in front of you. Velocity pose. Your inner elbows are reaching up. You're pressing your hips back towards your heels, clawing at the mat, spider fingers once again. Can your head be heavy here? And then we're gonna find a little bit of side body action again. Inhale, lift up halfway. Wander your torso over to the right. Keep pulling your left hip towards your left heel. And then you're going to reach your left arm out very, very long. 
same activation, inner elbow up, claw at the floor or your mat, wherever your hand might be. Drop your left shoulder if it's starting to like crank up. Inhale, lift up halfway, keep it low. Wander through the center of your mat and take it to the other side. Right hip pulling toward right heel. Fingertips clawing at the mat, inner elbow up. Your belly might be on your left side, might be close to it, might be more in the center of your body. Same diff. Inhale, lift back up, come back to center, and then take a softer child's pose, release down. Also an option to bring your arms alongside your body, palms up so your hands are more closer to your heels, and rest down. We'll be here for five breaths. Reconnect with your intention and your breath. Be mindful of this practice. And at the end of your fifth exhale, begin your transition to downward facing dog. You can simply reach arms up and press up or if you need to take a vinyasa to get there, do what is gonna be best for you for this practice. On an inhale, reach your right leg up toward the ceiling. Tripod dog, bend your knee, open up through your hips. So you're pointing your right knee up toward the ceiling, right shoulder is dropped. On an exhale, take your knee to your right elbow, shift it forward, keep up high on your left toes. Inhale, take it up toward the ceiling, tripod dog. Exhale, take your knee to your right elbow. Once again, keep your hips high, come up high into your left toes, really press away from the mat, push, push, push. Inhale, up and back. And then this time, pull your knee towards your nose, place your foot between your hands towards your right thumb. Drop your left knee down. We're going to take an Andre and Asana posture, arms lift up. Pull your heel and knee toward each other. Option to dip your hips, not necessary though. Again, just be mindful of how your body is feeling here. If it feels like it's too much, back out. Take your right hand to your right hip crease, arc over to the right. Keep your left shoulder away from your ear. And then we're gonna take that full twist, getting more into our twist. On an exhale, left elbow comes to the outside of your right hand. For this version, right now, keep your right hand to your right hip and simply draw it back. See if you can feel that lengthening. And as you do so, inhale, lengthen out your torso, twist more deeply using your core to help you. You could still look beyond your right shoulder if you'd like, left fingertips are still active here. Look down towards your mat, unravel, take your hands down, tuck your back toes, lift up your back knee. We're gonna strike all the way back up to a tripod dog. So pull your right heel in towards you, strike it up tripod. Yes, and then place your foot next to the other. Give yourself to acknowledge the difference between left side and right side, if any difference does exist. And then as you're ready, inhale, left leg comes up, bend your knee, open up, dropping left shoulder, Heel towards bum, pointing your left knee straight up. And then re-straighten tripod dog. On an exhale, take your left knee to your left shoulder. Keep your right toes really, really, really high. Inhale, lift it up, tripod. Exhale, take your knee to your left shoulder once again, or elbow. Inhale, up and back. This time on an exhale, take your knee in towards your nose, place your foot between your hands. As you're ready, drop right knee down. Inhale, arms up, Andre Nasa. Always, if your shoulders don't quite feel right, hands to thigh are also completely acceptable here. Find that scissoring between your legs, find that activity, let it shoot up. Left thumb to left hip crease, arc over to the left. Okay, we're gonna maintain all that length. On an exhale, twist at your belly, twist at your chest. Right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Left hand remains at your left hip. Continue to draw it back. Again, memorize what this feels like. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Twist more deeply using your core to assist you. All right. Unravel, send your gaze down to the mat. Hands tap down, tuck your back toes, lift up your back knee. And then once again, we're gonna strike all the way up to the tripod dog. So pull your left heel in, extend upward. And then press down to downward facing dog once again. 
On this one, inhale, right leg comes up towards the ceiling. Exhale, take your knee to your left elbow or tricep. So we're starting to curl again. Inhale, extend up. Second time, knee to left elbow. Try to tap your tricep lifts up. Inhale, up and back. This time on an exhale, you're going to place your foot between your hands towards your right thumb. So your left heel is spiked up. And if you're looking for more zhuzh, wiggle the left foot back even more so that your heel is over your toes. Just a thought, don't have to do it. Hover fingertips away from the mat, lift all the way up. High lunge, so it's the first one. So take a little bend to your left knee first, and then keeping the right thigh dropped, re-straighten the left leg. Don't worry, we're gonna come out of this in a moment because we're gonna take some open arm twists, and I always like to like lift out of them to make sure that we've got space in our hips. So inhale, lift up, get out of your own way. Exhale, twist to the right, thumbs are up. Start to lower your right thigh, look out towards your right thumb. Again, inhale, lift up. Arms to center. Exhale, twist, open arm twist. Reach to the right. With your right fingertips, inhale, lift up. Exhale, open arm twist. Stay here for just a few breaths. Drop your right hand. Maybe you tap your left thigh, left fingertips come up. Keep your right hip drawing back. I'm sure you notice a theme. Inhale, arms up toward the ceiling. On an exhale, warrior two. Open to the wide side of your mat. Do whatever you need to do to get there. Let this practice be fairly flowing and enter the way that's gonna make most sense for you. Draw your floating ribs in so you're not dreading them out. Flip your right palm up, drop your left, exalt warrior, take it up and back. On an exhale, we move to a triangle pose. Straighten the front leg, hinge forward, right hand comes down. Your hand might be at thigh, calf, ankle, or all the way to the floor or a block. Left fingertips are up. Wrap your right rib cage upward. Look up towards your left thumb. Unless your shoulders aren't having it, and then just drop your hand behind your low back. All right, look down towards your right foot. You're simply going to bend into your right knee. Side angle pose. So not yet working into the extension, unless that's where you're at right now. We're just gonna focus on side angle. So left fingertips are pointed up toward the ceiling. Wrap your right rib cage upward. Keep pressing the outer edge of your left foot. Really fine length. Then look down towards your foot. Pivot onto the ball of your back foot. Take your left hand down. Right hand to the outside of the foot. Step your right foot back to meet your left. You're in high plank. Vinyasa, if you'd like to take it, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Long, slow breaths. Acknowledge your body. Acknowledge where you come from. Acknowledge where you are. And then when you're ready, inhale, left leg lifts up toward the ceiling. On an exhale, take your knee to your right elbow or tricep. Really shift forward, press through your hands. Inhale, strike it back up. Exhale, knee across your body. Maybe tap your tricep. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, take your knee to your nose. Lift up through your right toes. This time, place your foot between your hands towards your left thumb. Again, if you're looking for more zhuzh, scooch your right foot back a little bit so that your heel is right over your toes. Left hip is drawing back. You know where we're going. Have your fingertips away from your mat. Lift up. Arms up. Little bend to your left, right knee, rather. Square off your hips a bit more, and then re-straighten as you like. And don't worry, we'll be coming out of this a moment. Inhale, lift up, open arm twist to the left, palms are facing away from you, look towards your left thumb. Inhale, back towards the center, lift up, exhale, twist. Inhale, lift up, exhale, twist. We're gonna stay right here, drop your left hand, lift up your right. And then you straighten your arms up, exhale, warrior two, open to the opposite side of your mat. Again, for this practice, feel your way in, come out of the pose and enter it as you need. Allow this to be fairly fluid, give yourself the dance. Remember to press the outer edge of your right foot, left knee over your left ankle. This might feel you need to open your left knee up further in order to get that. Left palm flips up, exalted warrior, right hand comes down or to your low back. And then we move to triangle pose. Come on and straighten up. Straighten your left leg, pivot all the way over. So this gives you lots of length of the left side of your body. 
right fingertips are up, or if your shoulder's not doing great right now, hand to your low back. Lengthen out through the crown of your head as you continue to twist. And then we maintain this in the upper body. So look down towards your left foot, bend into your left knee, side angle pose. You keep your right hand as it is, unless you're really itching to take the extension right here. Keep pressing through the edge of your right foot. Wherever your left hand is pressing, use that as resistance. Lengthen through the crown of your head with that. Twist your uh, torso, so your left rib cage is starting to point upward. Look down towards your front foot. Pivot all the way down to the mat, hands come down. Right heel comes up. Step your left foot back to meet your right. Vinyasa, if you'd like to take it, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale one, exhale. Inhale two, exhale. Third time on your own. On your next inhale, right leg comes up toward the ceiling. On an exhale, place your foot between your hands towards your right thumb. Rise up, high crescent lunge. Inhale, lift up, get out of your own way. Exhale, twist to the right. Arms reach out, thumbs are up. Inhale, back to center, lift up. Exhale, open arm twist. Inhale to center. Open arm twist. This time, drop the right palm, lift up your left fingertips. Your right hip is still drawing back. Still lift up your left knee. Inhale, come back up to center. This time, take your hands to your heart center. Right hip draws back. Lean forward. So as straight of a line as you can get from your front of your head to your left heel. Really lengthen. And then on an exhale, you're going to twist to the right for a prayer lunge. So left elbow comes to the outside. You can keep your hand to the right hip if you'd like, or press your palms together. You're going to start to work your thumbs toward the center of your sternum. Maybe this happens today. Maybe it happens tomorrow. Really scissor your thighs together for balance. All right, look down to your toes. A little bit of momentum. Things are going to get fun. Step your left foot forward till your left toes touch your right toes. Big toes, that is. You don't want to stand on your feet. And you are in a twisted chair. Draw your left knee back so that your knees are in line with each other. Inhale, come back to regular Utkatasana chair pose. Arms lift, hips are low. Exhale, forward fold. Straighten your legs. Wiggle it out. Let it go. Separate your feet out so they're about hips with distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, step your right foot all the way to the back of the mat, and then turn all of your toes to the right, so you're in a wide-legged fold toward the right side of your mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, reach your chest towards your right thigh. Angle your left shoulder down. Shift the weight of your body more into the balls of your feet here. Press down through your feet, lifting up the arches. Inhale, come back to center, fine leg. Exhale, take it over to the other side. Dropping right shoulder. So what you're trying to do is kind of like square your chest against your leg. Inhale, come back to center, lift up. And then on your exhale, you're gonna keep it low, pivot towards the front of the mat so you're in a low lunge. Step back to downward facing dog or take a vinyasa if that works for you. And when you're ready, we're gonna take the other side. Inhale, left leg lifts up, long, long, long. And then on an exhale, place your foot between your hands towards your left thumb. Lift all the way up to your high crescent lunge. And then get out of your way, own way. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist the left, thumbs are up. Look back towards your left thumb. Keep your right leg lifted up, inhale up. Exhale, twist. Third time, inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist. Drop your left hand behind you. Try to reach your right thigh to meet your left hand. Reach up your right fingertips. All right, and take everything back to front. Regular high crescent lunge. Bring your hands to your heart center. Hinge forward, left hip draws back. Really, really lengthen, longest line you can get. And then on an exhale, empty out your belly. Twist to the left. Right elbow to the outside. Palms together. 
always an option to keep your hand at your thigh if you prefer. Start to work your thumbs toward the center of your chest. Again, if not today, maybe tomorrow. Press your both feet. Even in this twisted pose, can you find a full breath? Where does it go? What do you have to do to find that full breath? Find some ease. Look down towards your left toes. A little bit of momentum. You'll step your right big toe to meet your left big toe whenever you're ready. Maybe it's one step, maybe it's several. Right knee draws back, so it's in line with the left. Left hip pulls back. You're still in this twist. Then unravel, staying in Utkatasana. Arms lift. Exhale, fold. Release it all the way down. Let your legs become straighter. Separate out your feet. Wiggle it out if you need. Inhale, halfway lift. And then step your left foot all the way to the back of the mat. Then wander your body towards the left side of the mat. Take your toes with you. So the outsides of your feet are parallel with the outsides of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take your body over to the left side. So torso reaching, you're trying to reach your center of your chest toward your left shin. Keep weight in the right leg as well. Inhale, come back to center, lengthen out. Exhale, twist to the right. Take it back to center, inhale, lift up. Keeping it low, we're gonna pivot back to the front of the mat. You're in a low lunge. This time, step your left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Press through your feet, come all the way up to standing. Arms lift, exhale, hands to your heart center. Feel free to leave them here or take them alongside your body in Tadasana. We'll be here for five breaths. At the end of your fifth exhale, on the next breath in, reach your arms out and up, shoulder blades are down, gaze up. Exhale, injure your hips forward, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, a little bend to your right knee, shift the weight to the right leg and extend your left leg up so you're in a standing split. So you're lengthening out. So this might even feel kind of like a uh, supported uh, warrior three. Left leg is lifting up. And then on the exhale, start to dive your chest down towards your thigh. Again, your knee can be bent here. You can use blocks to lift you up. Let your core strength drawing you towards your thigh lift up your left leg. You're lifting up to the inside of your left thigh. So even your pinky toe of your left leg is pulling it down. I know it doesn't make like for as much of a dramatic lift, but you know. Then you're going to bring your bend both knees, take your left knee behind your right, get low on an inhale. Exhale, strike your left heel up. Inhale, pull in. Exhale, strike up. Really lift your right hip back, trying to keep your hips squared here. One more time like that. Inhale, get low. Exhale, strike up. This time, tuck your knee behind the other. And then ever so carefully, you're gonna drop your bum between your feet. So you're all twisted up. So the way this should look is your left knee is bent underneath you. Your right knee is bent, but your foot to the outside. If you find your right hip is straightened, um, lifted away from the mat, Extend your left leg in front of you. Take your right hand behind you, fingertips away, lean back, inhale, lift up your left arm. We're gonna take the seated twist, twist to the right, left elbow to the outside of your thigh, unless that's not working for you, and then take your hand around your knee. Shift the weight towards the left hip. Lean back slightly, and then continue to twist. Just like we've been doing before, in this twisted pose, where can you manage a full breath? Where can you find ease? And is the ease that needs to be found not physical, but elsewhere? Send your gaze back to the front of the room. Unravel, take a counter twist over to the left, reach your right arm out really far, drop your head, get low. And then press your way up. Roll over onto your hands and knees, or just actually rather cross your ankles Hands down and just press your way up till you're in a forward fold. You'll have to uncross your legs. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in this forward fold again. Make it strong. 
chest toward thighs, reach your shoulders away from your ears. Your fingertips are just gripping in the mat just enough so you can reach your chest towards your thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold again. Let that be a little bit softer. Come all the way up to standing. Arms lift either through the front or through sides. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Just reset for a moment. And then take up that expansion again. Arms lift up. Long through the sides of your body. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Little bend to your left knee. Shift the weight to the left leg. Right leg lifts up. Kind of in this supported warrior three zone. Find activity through your right toes. It can be flexed, pointed, pointed. I like the point a lot where like my toes are flared. Left thigh draws up. Reach out. And then exhale, standing splits. Reach your chest towards your thigh. Keep your right thigh lifted up to the inside. Chest towards your thigh. All right, we're going to take those squats again. So on an inhale, bend both knees, tuck your right knee behind the left, get weird, get squatty. Exhale, strike your right heel up. Try to keep your head pointed down. Inhale, pull in. Exhale, expand out. Keep along through your left thigh. Inhale, draw in. Exhale, strike it up. Last time like this. And then pull your right knee behind the left. And then carefully drop your bum onto the mat. And again, if you find your left hip is rise, risen up a lot, straighten your left leg behind you. Left hand behind you, considerable distance, like 14 inches. Inhale, right arm lifts up, lean back. Exhale, twist at your belly. Take your elbow to the outside of your thigh or wrap your arm around your knee. And then take this twist. Where do you need to go to find spaciousness? Where does the ease come from? And is that ease something that you can simply drop into? Locate the source. Send you guys back to the front. Unravel, take a counter twist all the way over to the right, reach your left arm out long, drop your head. Pay less attention to all the other stuff, just stretch it out. And then press your way back up. All right, cross at your ankles, press into your hands, lift up so you're at a forward fold, unravel your feet so that they are side by side. Ragdoll pose, bend your knees, get soft, do what you need to do here. Maybe it is stillness, perhaps it's a little bit of movement. What do your shoulders feel like? What's gonna serve you best right now? All right, we're gonna move into that pose that we were talking about earlier. So if you've got blocks nearby and you wanna use them, just make sure that they're somewhere kind of close-ish to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Come all the way up to standing. Press through your feet. Take up as much space as you can. Gather it up. And exhale, take your hands to your heart center. Keep your hands here. Take your arms alongside your body. We'll be here for five breaths. At the end of your fifth exhale, start to regain your focus. On an inhale, arms lift up, send your chin upward. Exhale, hinge your hips forward, fold all the way. Breath in, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, bow to yourself. Step back to top of plank or float back to a chaturanga on an exhale. Lower through chaturanga, knees up or down. Elbows in. Untuck your toes, inhale for the back bend of your choice. And then on an exhale, lift it up and back to downward facing dog. Take your knees to your mat, toes to touch, child's pose, or another restful posture. Is there anything that you can let go of that is not serving you at this time? Again, locate the ease of your breath, locate the source. Let everything else become a little softer. 
You have the next three breaths here to do with whatever you would like before we meet in downward facing dog. Anything you're doing this time is up to you. Your first of three breaths begins now. And about now you might be finishing up the third exhale. If you need more time, take it. If not, make your way to downward facing dog. Very full breath in. Very full exhale. One more time as you're on your own as you need. And then on your next inhale, right leg lifts up toward the ceiling, long, straight, strong. On an exhale, take your knee to your nose and place your foot between your hands towards your right thumb. Have your fingertips away from the mat. Lift all the way up, high crescent lunge. Inhale, lift up, exhale, twist to the right. Right, our thumbs are up. Inhale, back to center, lift up. Exhale, twist more deeply. One more time like that. Exhale, twist, right hand drops, left fingertips lift up. Come back to the high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Flip your right palm up, drop your left, exalted warrior, take it up and back, maintain the deep end of your right knee. Exhale, back to warrior two. We're gonna move directly into that extended side angle, okay? So reach your right arm forward, take your right hand to your, or right elbow rather, to your uh, thigh, or take your hand down to the mat, left fingertips are up, and then sweep your left arm toward the front of the room. Keep your hips low. All right, look down toward your right toes. You're going to, if you're going with me, I'm not going to keep my left hip down. I'm going to pivot onto the ball of my back foot. I'm coming forward. So my hands are down. This is a nice time to feel out where you are and select a block, select a position on the inside of your right foot, on the outside of your right foot. And there are three sides to your block, three heights. So figure out where you want to be. So your left hip is spiked up unless you really want to take the extra challenge with the heel down, it's gonna be kind of like a warrior one position. So inhale, lift up, your hands are away, twist at your belly, select where your hand goes, the inside to the outside of your thigh, press your hand against something. If your hand is to the outside, the outer edge of your um, upper arm is gonna be pressing into your right thigh, your right hip draws back. Swing your right arm in front of you, thumb, I mean, pinky down, and then look towards your right pinky. Twist at your belly, keep your right hip dropped. Find that ease of breath, where does it exist? Look down towards your mat, unravel. Take your hand to the outside. Step your left foot forward, forward fold. Ragdoll pose and release. Maybe wiggle it out a bit. And we're going to enter it one more time. Inhale, halfway lift. Step your left foot all the way back. So a different entrance point, same but different. If you're using a block, select the same or something else. Totally up to you. Lift up and away. You have to use your core strength for this. And then begin your twist, your left hand to the mat. Outside, block. Maybe take your right hand to your right hip. Guide it back. And then when you're ready, right hand, swing it in front of you pinky facing down, reach out, out, out. Let this help you twist. And maybe send your gaze towards your right pinky, keep your right hip down. Keep spiking through the left leg. I'm easing your breath, I know it exists. And then when you're ready, send your gaze down, unravel, set the block to the side. Once again, step your left foot forward, forward fold, ragdoll pose, let go. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, bow, bow to yourself. Come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to your heart. Keep it here, arms alongside your body. We'll be here for five breaths. When you're ready, there's no rush. You can take as much time at the top of your mind as you'd like. 
We're going to flow back to downward facing dog. Move whenever you are ready, any path to get there. Once in your downward facing dog, take a restful posture for just a few breaths. Quiet down between sides. Give yourself three more breaths. And then when you're ready, Make your way back to downward facing dog. All right, inhale, left leg up and back on an exhale. Place your foot between your hands towards your left thumb. When you're ready, rise up, high crescent lunge. Lift up, get out of your own way on an inhale. Exhale, open arm twist. Thumbs are pointed up towards the ceiling, maybe gaze back. Inhale back to the high lunge, get up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, come up. Final time for this twist. Drop your left hand, reach up your right fingertips. And then come back to center, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. We're gonna take the extended side angle here. Surf your fingertips forward. Left forearm to the thigh or all the way down to the mat or to a block. Right arm comes up over your head. Rather than taking up and over, my recommendation is to come over or bend at your elbow first, taking some tension out of your shoulder, and then like shoot straight out, pinky down. Wrap your left rib cage upward, press the outer edge of your right foot. Lots of length here. And then let's take it, look down to your mat, pivot onto the ball of your back foot. We're gonna prep for our revolved extended side angle. So take your block. Do what you like with it. Again, inside of your foot, outside of your foot, three different heights, so many options. So lift up, get your chest, like imagine you're moving your belly away from your thigh, even if it's touching. And then exhale, you're going to twist. Your right hand comes down to the mat, to a block. Left hand, maybe to your left hip. Rotate at your belly, get low. And then as you're ready, Left pinky down, shoot it out in front of you, facing down. Keep lifting up through the back leg. Rotate your heart up. Find Tadasana in your spine. I know. Just breathe. The breath exists. And you can access it. Can you access it with ease? All right, look down to your mat. Unravel, take your hands down. Step your right foot forward, forward fold. Ragdoll pose. Move it around, shift it out like you need, or if you don't, stay still. What movement is going to best support the dedication that you set for yourself? You know your needs best. And then we're gonna take that side once again, slightly different entry. Inhale, lift up halfway. And then step your right foot all the way to the back of the mat once again. Grab your block if you moved away from you. Place it at the same or a different spot. Who's to say what you're gonna do next? This is up to you. Again, lift up. So you're kind of in like that movement like when we were taking our uh, prayer twist. So you're lengthened out, you're lifting away. Twist like prayer twist. Right hand comes down to the inside of the foot, outside the foot, the block, whatever you like. Left hand to left hip, you can leave it here. You can extend your arm up toward the ceiling, or you can move toward the arm expression, pinky down. So you're wrapping your inner elbow up, and then reach it out in front of you. We're moving toward the ear. Uh, bicep is alongside your left ear. Use everything that's touching the mat to assist you. Everything that's touching a block. And then when you're ready, Unravel, take your hands down. Step your right foot forward, top of your mat, forward fold. Drag doll pose. 
When you're ready, inhale. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Offer your heart out. And exhale, give it back to yourself with honor. Fold. Press through your feet. Take your arms out and up toward the ceiling. And then on an exhale, hands to your heart center. Leave your palms here. Take them alongside your body. Soften your eye gaze or even allow your eyes to close. And just take a few moments to be a witness to yourself. Observe the breather. Blink your eyes open if you close them. Inhale to reach your arms up toward the ceiling. Once again, keep them up, angling your pinkies toward each other. Bend your knees, sit low into a chair pose. And then just start to sit lower and lower and lower. And eventually, you're gonna rock all the way down onto your bum. And then come all the way onto your back. Keep your knees bent. Step them in a little bit closer to you. Arms alongside your body. Fingertips to graze the backs of your heels. I'm gonna be leading through a bridge flow. If you prefer to take an Urdhva or a traditional bridge, then please, Move in that direction. I'll be leading, again, the flow bridge. Inhale, lift up your hips, reach your arms up and back, back, palms touch the mat, lift up your heels. Exhale, articulate every aspect of your spine, come all the way back down, drop your hands and your heels. Again, lift up hips, wave it up, create space, arms back, lift up heels. Exhale, take it all the way back down. And then once more. And then drop it all the way back down. If you are taking bridge pose or Vadanyasana, taking your path out of those postures. And then bring both knees into your chest, hands to the backs of your thighs or the fronts of your shins, rock a little from side to side. We did this posture uh, at the beginning of class. Does it feel any different? Is your response to it any different? Keep your right knee in, extend your left leg out. Supine twist, drop your knee to the left side. Arm reaches out to the right, right arm, that is. And then send your gaze over to the right. So much twisting in this class. On your exhale, take your head and knee back up to center. Extend your right leg out, pull your left knee in, and then draw across your body to the right. Adjust so perhaps you send the gaze over to the left. And the side feels approximately the same as the other. Take your head and back to the center. Pull both knees in towards you. Bring your forehead up towards your knees. Wrap your arms around you. Give yourself a big squeeze. Offering yourself some gratitude for this body that you live in. The body that has carried you through this practice. The body that has carried you through every moment of your life to this point. And then when you're ready, enter Shavasana, your corpse pose. If there's anything else you need to do, adjustments to your clothing or your environment, please take your time to do that. Even if you choose to take a corpse pose that is non-traditional.
And then check in with your physical body at the soles of your feet to come soft to your ankles, no longer holding you up. And if you have a bent knee variation, your ankles are only holding you up by the support that they have of your knees together. Your knee caps drop so that your thighs become softer and more heavy and your belly is soft as well. Let your shoulders drift down to the mat. See that broadness through your collarbones. Relax your upper arms and your elbows and your forearms and your wrists. The backs of your hands become soft as well as the palms of your hands. And notice the feeling at the very tips of your fingers. Send that gentleness all the way up through your neck, softening through your jaw and your tongue and your cheeks. Your eyes and the muscles surrounding your eye sockets and your forehead. Allow yourself to be in this posture. in a slightly deeper breath and send your thoughts to your dedication. Let me sit on your exhale. With your breath, invite that dedication and movement into your extremities. Begin to exit the Shavasana. And when you're ready, 
Roll over onto your right side and pause for several moments. And from there, you'll find a seated posture with your eyes closed for a brief reflection and meditation. On your next inhale, let your arms out and then palms to press above your head. Not an exhale, take your thumbs to the space between your eyebrows for clarity of thought. To your lips for the clarity of speech. And then down to your heart for clarity of action. Bow your head to your heart. In honor, in humility, and in gratitude. Locating the source of your ease. And identifying how you can access that on and off of your mat to better serve your practice. Thank you so much for sharing it with me. And thank you for helping me deepen my own. In the name of the highest good, namaste.